Hello, it's Vicky again, um, Community Engagement Manager for Abbeyfield. I'm here today to show you how to grouch your now finished mosaic. So the last couple of videos I shared with you, I showed you how to design and use the adhesive to adhere the tiles to your cement board. I've polished it up, I've wiped them back once it's dried and you get this. So it's it's nice, it's, you know, there are lots of little elements to it, beads and what have you. and um, this is the lighthouse and the hoe. And now I want to actually put a nice dark grey grout in between. Um, I've made sure the adhesive um, actually is, is wiped back enough so there's little grooves so the um, grout can actually lay nicely in those areas. So today's little video is how to grout and polish my mosaic and then it will be finished. It can be framed and installed in your lovely gardens. Okay, now we're on to grouting. So you can see I've put my gloves on again because this is a mucky old business and the grout can be sometimes a little bit um, difficult on hands. Um, it can dry out the skin and also be a little bit burn, burny, so you have to be really careful. So I've put my gloves on. I've also put a little bit of powdered grout in there. Um, and I'm only gonna mix up a small amount because in actual fact, you cover it with um, grout and then you wipe the back fairly promptly. Okay, so I'm going to mix my grout now. So now we're ready to grout. Um, so I've got my other mosaic that we did here and I've started to put some of the paste of the grout here, on here. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. It's really quite a mucky business, so I've got gloves on. If you want, you can wear goggles or visor if you're worried about getting things in your eyes, which I recommend. And I've mixed some of the grout, gray grout, the powder in here with some water, which I've simply just put a tiny bit in to it like that. I've mixed it into like a very thick butter icing texture. And if I show you on this, I cover my, my piece like this. with the grey grout on top. So here's one I've done earlier. I've covered the whole of it. You can use a piece of cardboard to spread it and start to scrape back. Now don't panic if you have to leave, if you have to go to the toilet, go and get a cup of tea. It's not gonna dry too quickly. But what you can see is fairly quickly, I can move this grout off and start to polish back. I'm actually using my scraper, and although this isn't finished, I'll show you on here as well. You can see the lovely gray color there will take make the design look very, very fetching. So carrying on with this one, I'm going to use a damp cloth, having done the initial scraping off, and like I said, you can scrape it off with your palette knife, with a piece of cardboard. Just take off some of the residue. Now I've got a table that I wipe down, but if you're worried about the surface you're working on, please put a protective plastic sheet or something down. And you see, it's starting to come through. So it's like discovering treasure. Can you see how the grey actually offsets it beautifully? Now, obviously, you might, a damp cloth will help. So I've just got a slightly damp cloth, not soaking, because it will just wash it away. And you see I'm starting to rub it back and rub it back. And with a little bit of work and then going for a dry cloth, you start to polish it. You see in the middle there, the lovely mosaic is starting to come out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on this for five minutes or so, just polishing it back now. It's that simple. And I will give you a, um, an image of what the lovely lighthouse picture looks like. So a little bit of elbow grease at this stage, just polishing it back like that. Okay, can you see how the light and the lighthouse is starting to come out? And likewise, although this isn't finished, can you see, I'm starting to get that feeling of that leaf coming there. 